like every cast. Large mounts. Every single cast. Here's what I just found out. Got to this lake and the plan was to go rent a boat and go out and fish for trout. Found out that the season they're not renting boats, or at least that season is over. Um, and today is supposed to be 91 degrees or, or something like that, something super hot. My theory was that these fish are gonna be in deeper waters and so I needed a boat to get there and I was going to try to find uh, these fish and actually find these fish by looking for a thermocline where war this is where warm water meets cold water and so this is where the biggest temperature change happens and most of the fish are thought to be in between uh, the hot and cold water in that thermocline and so all the odds are stacked against me today um, but I'm here and I'm, gonna, I'm still gonna try. They do have catfish in here that they stock in this lake. They do have trout, but um, the trout, uh, they haven't stocked trout in this lake since uh, May and it is now October. So again, all the odds are stacked against me. I'm from shore, I'm fishing from shore. Um, I'm using extremely light tackle, a six pound line with a five pound leader. Um, small hooks and so the majority of the fish in here are probably going to be catfish um, but we'll see what happens For bait today, I'm using this power bait. It's garlic flavor, and I know that people typically use uh, circle hooks or and whatnot for these power baits, but I'm gonna use a treble hook. And I'm essentially just gonna make a little ball, cover all the points on the treble hook. And I'm actually gonna dip that in this garlic oil here. I'm gonna pour a little bit into a baggie, and then when I have my little bait ball formed, I'm gonna dip that bait ball into this roasted garlic oil. Mmm. If you smell this stuff, it smells just like garlic. So I just walked down to the pier, uh, the far, farthest end of the pier, and let me show you why. I was on a bank fishing. I'm right here at this pier. I was about right here fishing that bank. And for me, I'm looking for uh, the thermocline. And so this is the area of water that has the most dynamic change. So what I'm trying to experiment is is to look for these fish in deeper water, but not just deeper water, but at the meeting point between cold and warm or deepest and shallow. So it looks like this power bait isn't working that well. Um, I'm thinking about switching to a worm next, artificial worm. But um, yeah, if one bait doesn't work, then try another one. Maybe the fish just aren't in the mood for that type of bait. Uh, during that day. All right, I'm probably only gonna fish for a little bit more and so I'm gonna switch this power bait uh, Well, I was using power bait before but this is a 3 8 of a centimeter power trout worm So I'm gonna thread this on dip it in garlic 
oil and toss it out there. the big guys at fish I guess. any trout today but this little experiment tells me that sometimes fish are really picky about what they eat and so I saw a bunch of uh, very small baby bass um, somewhat close to the pier and um, I've been using that, that doughy power bait all day the fish were curious they came up came up and looked at it but never even pecked at it so they didn't really they didn't really take it Oh, oh, another fish on. Um, but these bass really seem to like um, these worms. Oh, that's not, that's a decent one. The little leaf floating down the lake earlier kind of mimicked a worm. I'm gonna release this guy real fast. Really nice. Um, I saw a little leaf floating down the lake earlier and then I saw a couple of smallmouth actually come up and try to peck at it and that little leaf was really thin and it looked like a worm. So I thought, hey, maybe I'll switch to the worm. Um, well, I was going for trout, but it makes sense now that the smallmouth would, would actually bite uh, this worm. Not what I'm going for, but better than no fish, right? But hey, I'm out here and I'm trying to learn something every day based on uh, these little experiments that I do. 